one sense the familiar was made to take the place of, of divine love. And so it's a bit scary as you go deeper and deeper with this journey because the things that once seemed familiar don't have that same familiarity anymore. It's almost like you outgrow yeah. things, like a child outgrows toys, you start to outgrow things more and more and more. Like, <clears throat> like if I pull out of that, you know, the fear, and I can feel it sometimes, like what, what am I going to invest it in, you know, put that, now I don't have that familiarity there. <laughs> now what are you going to put it into, you know? And the old line was familiarity breeds contempt, but actually it's quite delightful having no familiarity. It's, it's like it's totally brand new always. You're not sentimental. It's so great not being sentimental. Uh, because sentimental is always, there was always tugs on the heart from the past. Um, it's great not having an idea or an expectation and just letting everything be totally brand new. Then you can maintain a sense of joy and vitality and a sense of wonderment with everything and everyone. But as soon as the mind clicks into the familiar, it's as if you already know something. And like Armel was sharing earlier, you won't even question the perception of the world. If, if you like it so much, or you so much want to keep the familiar, you really stay closed from, from this opening into what's, what's truly available. So it's good to have open allowance and permission to let yourself kind of open up to that sense of wonderment with everything. When people say, I'm so bored with life, or to, Today I was doing a Skype call with uh, Spain and one of the, the participants over there was saying, I'm just over with it, I'm over with it, I'm over with it. And it was really intense and, and finally she was just saying, I want to be done with this. And then she said, I'm tired of this world, I'm tired of it. But there was so much familiarity, it was almost like a conclusion had been drawn about the world. Not a positive one either. <laughs> I'm tired of it. Stop the world. I want to get off. This spiritual journey is insane. It's absolutely insane. But there's, you can see it's like a wheel. And the ego is just sitting back there laughing at the whole wheel. Because it wants you to conclude something. Even like, I'm tired of the world. The ego says, that's good. You can just stay good and frustrated with that one. Spin on that wheel for a while. So, the whole talk I did with her was just about just having that crack of openness to say, maybe I'm wrong about the world, about being tired of the world, maybe I'm even wrong. It was this timeline thing, you know, it's just, it's not worth it. <laughs>